Welcome back everybody, I'm Stan. I'm Art. And uh, this is The Basement, and we are continuing our overlay of audio for Final Fantasy 3. Yeah. And we m were surprised in the last episode. So we didn't really do a segue because the episode just ended. <coughs> Mars dying! Oh, got a combo in my throat. I swear it was a combo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we we can ride segways. Like that'd be weird, but you know, if we get a like a like a katana, we can probably like ride it like futuristic knights. Uh Yeah, those words made sense. Hi. I think I would just fall over if I was to ride a segway. You know, in the recent Fourth of July parade, there was somebody riding the, not a segway, but like the the flat um, with the two wheels on the side. Yep. I don't know what to call them, but you're riding that. And they were just doing it so effortlessly. I think that it's probably not that hard, but I can totally see myself just, just stepping on there and just whoop, play stamp. Yep. Yeah, no, I I don't imagine that I would be any good at it. Yeah. It, the logistics are troublesome to your brain. It's, it's just, it's a weird, weird, like, it probably is. It throws off your balance. Well, it's. <laughs> like, like the cat like in something sticky, just trying to get it out. <laughs> it's it's probably very intuitive. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be shocked at all if it's very intuitive and like once you get used to it, it makes complete sense and it's easy. But it's just weird to me. And the other thing is like, I'll just walk. It's fine. Yeah, you know what? But... It's not going to kill me. miles per hour one of those things slip to the well, side segways do 30 miles an hour no i don't think so like 20 okay you can go pretty quickly though if they do 30 that'd be that'd be pretty amazing that's hauling ass faster than moped yeah mopeds are another thing we actually discussed <laughs> it's not random. just recently i we i was driving and one of the, with one of the guys at work, because we were trying to figure out if something was wrong with the truck, and uh guy in a moped went by, and I'm just like, I couldn't do it. Like, a, a little kid motorcycle, like the tiny motorcycle, at least it's it's a motorcycle. Like a moped? Uh-uh. Yeah. Never catch me dead on one. I yeah. mean, I might fuck around, like, t if, if somebody had one, I might, like, take it and just drive it around. Yeah. For shits and giggles, but... You know, what, I was about to say the exact same thing. Of they, they're fun. I, I can see them being totally enjoyable to be on and ride around. But that said, I can never take the people watching me and just like um, riding around on something that silly. Which funny story because you know, in one of my previous episodes, I said I don't really care what people think. Yeah, I care about that. Not necessarily like I wouldn't do it, but I would feel really goofy doing that. It's just, it, I don't know what enjoyment you'd get out of it. Yeah, because like, you can just get on a motorcycle and just go. Yeah, know. this is a really slow, crappy motorcycle. <laughs> Enjoy. I mean, like, tooling around a busy town, eh, maybe, so you don't kill somebody as you're going. The, the well, if, if it makes sense, if it's the most efficient means of transport, I guess, so be it. But I'm not wearing a helmet, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. The other thing, every, every moped driver ever is wearing a helmet. Yeah. That's, you know... Thinking about it, like, I would say bicycles are more, or safer, but, because you can kind of, like, you're, you're, you can sense around where, where people are, and, like, but, actually, no, they're probably far more dangerous, because they're silent, and, like, in a big city, is like, you can call upon somebody who did, doesn't even hear you coming, and it's, eh, you know, we both just take a tumble. I saw a bicyclist one time go through the back window of an SUV while standing in line to go to a concert. Oh. <laughs> We're like okay. standing there and it's the big ticket line and the guy's like pedaling his bike, he's a courier, mm -hmm. and he's looking at the ticket line and he piles right in the back end of an SUV, went through the back window of it, Ooh. back window shatters, he scrambles up, picks his bike back up and pedals away. I'm shocked they didn't just chop hit, him up. Hit and run. Just yeah. straight up hit and run. Just fucked up the dude's fucking SUV. Hit and well, I guess he was wearing a helmet probably, right? Yeah, he was wearing a helmet. I guess that absorbed probably all the impact, but imagine 
to help with glass. I guess never mind. Save that. I'm fine. It's probably cut him up a little bit, but whatever. He's coming on the road, bleeding as he's going along. Follow the trail. Now, see, does well, I mean there was about ten thousand witnesses. Oh yeah, I it was point. pretty easy to guess who did it. Uh, but that was a point where you went up to that like pillar where those red sunlight was. Yep. And I, I, until I walked up to it, I didn't understand that that was a different level. Sure. I mean, once I did, it makes sense. It's neat, but I did, my brain didn't compute it like that. That makes sense. Like, There's a lot of times that layers confuse me in video games. Oh, so, so my brother got one of those optical illusions when you like put your face up to it and like slowly back away, you can see it. Okay. Sure. And. I, I can never see those things. But yeah, continue. That's that's my point. Is like he got it, and I was like, I, I tried it, and I can't see it. What, what is this? It's like it's a dragon. Can't you see it? No. I tried it like five times. Nothing. Nothing. And then the last time we visited him down, down there, he's like, I said, yeah, that illusion you have on your wall. He's like, yeah, I can never see that. I'm like, could you? <laughs> like, no, you told me you could. I'm like, no, I never could. I just told you there was a dragon. Like, I just got to be neat. It's like you. <laughs> That's priceless. So he's just fucking with you all along. Yep. Sweet. <laughs> Are these geese birds? Yeah, no, I can I can can't do it. Yeah. I don't know if it's because of my shitty eyesight or what, but <laughs> However, he also had a hologram on a like a photo that was a, a mouse by some cheese. And like you one way you look it was just a cheese by a mouse hole and the other part was a, a mouse coming out to eat the cheese. And that was sweet. Remind me of like a trading card that had that. Like a lenticular foil? Yes. I had the Wolverine lenticular foil from <laughs> Marvel's card collection <laughs> series three. I think I might have had a similar one too. And it was like the super rare card. I didn't have super and the, rare. But... The, uh, well, it, that was what I was told. Oh, okay. And I the, been... uh... The card shop here in town at the time, the guy offered me a $110 store credit for it. And fuck, I should have taken that shit, because now it's like $3. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I could have used that $110 store credit and got, like, something worth actual money, like a signed sports memorabilia item, or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went back, I had some... Marvel trading cards, and I was like, yeah, maybe these are worth some money. Like, I'm not necessarily going to sell them, I just want to know. Looked them up, yeah, it's like $10. Yeah, cool, okay, we're just going to tuck those away. Maybe yeah, I have day. like sets of Marvel cards that are worth nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Yeah. But hey, we're having you know, seizure time here with all the old friends. It's just, uh... Your friendly neighborhood espers, that's all. There are a lot of them. Yeah. Multiple dragons, wolfman. Wolfman. <laughs> wolfman Jack. Oh, God rest his soul. Yeah. This is a character. That's on a side tangent of... So I, I meet a lot of people at work. I mean, a lot. You've met... Far more than I ever have, but it's hard to place the people. Like when you first hear about somebody, like you get the name, and then when you see them, you don't necessarily remember them until they do something or they're weird. And everybody you work with is weird in some way, <laughs> and you just have to find that little quirk and like, oh hey, that's that person. Okay, now I'll never forget you. I'm totally bidding on some uh, Marvel cards. <laughs> Restart Marvel Universe Series 4. Just because. This time next year he's going to you know, have a total of spend thousands of dollars drop it into Marvel cards. No, no, I will never do that. Okay, tens of dollars drop into Marvel cards. I would drop tens of dollars. Have a full full collection after that. I'm just going to bid like, like for example, that I'm going to bid $3 on that. Oh, I got out bid. I'll bid $7 on that. Oh, I've got to bid on it. I'll bid nine dollars on that. I'm I'm the highest bidder at nine dollars. Nice, big spender. Oh, I remember this part. Uh, conversing with the enemy or the friend. That's 
front of me. Which I'm not quite sure what this is, but I find it did seven dollars on it. I always thought the term front of me was more of a recent thing, but actually it came to being in the Cold War era. And that was the the or it was actually before that, it was in the fifties. It was to refer to the, Russia. The fifties was the Cold War. I guess so. Yeah. It was the beginning of the Cold War. But but you know. So now I have new found respect for that term rather than, you know, just being a throwaway term that it has nowadays. <laughs> throwaway term that was so trendy and cool. Yeah, I saw a bunch of tweeners were using. Well, they still were, but I'll give it a pass. Yeah, no, it, it definitely, that's one of the few things they do that gets passed by me. <laughs> that and those, those, those skinny jeans, that gets a pass. Wait, no, it doesn't. Fuck that. I'm just a crotchety old man now. I'm just like, oh, you newfangled gadgetry. <laughs> I'm, I'm the weird guy that, like, is bridging the gap because I'm weird and crotchety over some things, but other times I'm just, like, really laid back and whatever. Yeah, for the most part, I'm laid back and whatever. I just... Yeah. Like, I, I, I like some music that's newer, and, like, I l like some games that are newer, and television, or s movies... But yet, there's some things where like, oh, no, this is, this is it's getting all dang fangled, and hey, they just trampled him. Sweet. Yeah, Kafka showed up. How about a little Magitech mayhem? Fuck you. That's why he's here. He's here to just kill us first. I'm going to eat your chicken. I, I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. <laughs> Kafka, what are you doing? Ha 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 Killed in the killed in the testicles. Wait Tick for it. Tickled in the taint. I wonder if they're sentient when they you know turn into that. And they're crystals. Yeah, they because know. they're still living, basically. Or if they're dead, if they're dead. It's cool. I think you know rather than suffering. I mean, it's not cool. You know, he's you know killing a whole race. But yeah. Bad things are happening. Kafka, no! Shut up. Shut up your face. <laughs> he just jumps up on him. Ha ha ha. Alright, next time. We will see you and talk more about randomness. Indeed, and we'll... Somewhere down the road, we'll find out if I won Marvel cards. <laughs> okay, bye. Later. Want to continue or stop there? Uh, I want to go smoke. We'll okay. see how I feel after I smoke. Right. Older. Bye.